Fitness trackers are these days affordable, colorful and powerful. The Galaxy Fit 2 has blown my mind with all the smart features that it packs for only 50 bucks. Let's inspect! Welcome Tech for Our channel, I'm Michael and there are a lot of fitness trackers that we've tested and discussed on the channel. I've always strived to show you good and rather affordable gear with useful features. And finally, the Galaxy Fit 2 is among these devices that are really good at what they do and don't cost too much. Yes, we can finally say that the Fit 2 is rather affordable option. Priced at $49 and sometimes discounted down to $45 or even $40, it finally represents a threat to the Mi Band series sales or even the Honor Band series in some ways. I actually had very different expectations when I bought it, but I like this fitness tracker so much that now even the horrible Samsung app ecosystem for Android doesn't make me feel that upset. The fitness tracking features it is equipped with are quite spectacular. We're going to check each one of them one by one. Also, if any of the mentioned so far devices are interesting to you, you can check more details about them from the links posted in the video description. Unboxing. Feels good, I can recall similar package ideas about their premium smartwatches and I've recently tested the Galaxy Watch 3, so don't miss that video because the device is truly awesome and is linked above here. Inside this tiny box we can find the Galaxy Fit 2, accompanied by the charging cable and some instructions. Samsung keep it simple and that's fine. So the Galaxy Fit 2 looks like that, a lot in common with the previous generation, and we notice that the display is now larger, brighter, the design is sleeker, it's a plastic body with comfortable and gentle to the skin silicon band and quite unique and effective buckle tongue. The health tracking sensors are at the bottom, so I'd say it looks just like most similar fitness trackers anyways. Let's check the technical specs. 1.1 AMOLED screen. I can assure you this is among the best displays on a fitness tracker these days, much brighter and vivid than the one on the Mi Band 5. 15 day battery life, IP68 waterproof, Bluetooth 5.1, HR tracking and sleep tracking, automatic sports detection, even option for using pretty fine responses for certain messages, so it's not only well collecting your health data, but also much smarter than most other trackers. If we have to say everything out loud in a way that it sounds simpler, you can expect this tracker to automatically follow your daily activities and routines, like walking, running and HR measuring during that time, to show you the notifications from apps and has a long-lasting battery. All these features packed into only 21 grams, that sounds terrific. True, there are some features missing, like blood saturation tracking or GPS, but we shouldn't forget that it's a sub-$50 device and even more important, a Samsung one. Just for the record, the launch price of the Fit 2 is only half of what Samsung were asking for the third generation a year ago. Let's see about the software. Menus are easy to navigate and highly customizable. Have a capacitive home button and then swiping actions. Left or right swipes are showing the main cards. You can add whatever you like. I have notifications, hand washer timer, stress management, the workout modes, the health summary. You can have also music control cards, HR dedicated one. They can be adjusted using the Galaxy Wear app. Swipe up is doing nothing, swipe down the quick toggles which you can also customize, I keep shortcuts for fighting my phone, enabling night mode and quick adjustment for the screen brightness. By the way, if you need comparison about the visibility in daytime between the most popular fitness trackers right now, here's how the screens look side by side at their maximum brightness level as compared to the Mi Band 5. What do you think? Which one do you like better? Let me know in the comments below. Now deep sigh and let me talk about the smartphone app or apps. Every time I review a Samsung wearable, I can't keep calm about the amount of apps that you need, at least for Android. Galaxy Wear, which requires two extra plug-in apps in order for you to run the tracker. Not only that, but they're pretty large. 200 megabytes. For what? The Galaxy Wear app is used for configuration and it uses plug-in app for every different Galaxy wearable device. So if you have a Galaxy Watch, you need the Galaxy Watch plug-in app and so on. From here, we can change the behavior of the tracker and perform updates or maintenance tasks. You need another watch face, you go to the watch faces tab, get to like something, apply it. 
While there currently is no market for funny watch faces as it is for Mi Band series, I think most of the stock ones are good and functional and well visible in daylight. Here's how you can fine-tune the way your cards are showing up and the rest of the features as well. There's no always on-screen mode, however you can make the band keep the display always on during a detected workout very, very useful. Also, Samsung have finally added high heart rate alert. If the HR exceeds certain value, the Galaxy Fit 2 will vibrate to warn you. You can also customize the quick responses. Yes, someone sends you a message, let's say from WhatsApp, you can reply using the predefined answer. Not only that, but these responses can be configured and you can add such of your choice and most alphabets seem to be supported. My native language uses the Cyrillic alphabet and it worked flawlessly. That's a fun fact to note, the most popular competitor here, Xiaomi, they call their new tracker Mi Smartband 5. But apparently the Galaxy Fit 2 is the one that is truly smart, because the messaging responses alone put to shame much fancier models of the likes of Huawei Watch GT Pro, Amazfit GTR and so on. And as we mentioned, it automatically detects workouts, which based on the two weeks I spent with the tracker doesn't seem to affect a lot the battery life. Since we mention it, it is indeed great. Mi Band 5 and Amazfit Band 5 lasted with my kind of usage around six days, with all sort of tracking being enabled, while the Galaxy Fit 2 easily gave me around 10 days, which surprised me a lot. So yeah, I can totally recommend it for great battery endurance. To look into some of the health details, we opened the fourth Android app necessary, and this one is called Samsung Health. It looks nice and visualizes most of the data. Heart rate info, here we go. Detailed status of everything. Sleep tracking information, available as well. If you nap during the day, this will also make its way to the statistics on theory. I say on theory because the daily naps I've tried appeared nowhere in the app. Sports, that's another great area. Yes, we do have limited amount of workouts, but you can see all these activities which have automatically started for you or those that you initiated yourself and with reasonably good amount of data insight. These records can sometimes be very useful. I can confirm that the accuracy of tracking steps, HR measuring and sleep are very precise. So what is it that could be better or missing with the Fit 2? Well, here are a few things for a starter and we can carry on talking about missing features in the comments below the video. There's no PAI, no VO2 max, no blood oxygen saturation sensor, no GPS, no microphone, no NFC. But don't you worry, most of them are not present with other trackers like the Mi Band 5 for instance. Well, we have PAI and VO2 Max at least. To the drawbacks, I'm gonna count the two complex Android smartphone app ecosystem, which totally needs some attention from Samsung. One app for configuration, another app for checking the results and two plugins? Kind of confusing. But at the end, I can totally recommend the Galaxy Fit 2. It's a surprisingly capable fitness tracker at its price point, with its many strengths and a bit less weaknesses, the best-in-class display, many smart features and brilliant ideas for improving the usability. It's simple, it's smart and reliable and in my opinion one of the best trackers that you can find at this range from a non-Chinese brand right now. Impressive job from Samsung and also quite unexpected, but is a fact. Let me know what you think of this fitness tracker and also I plan to put it on a challenge against some other fitness brands. So tell me which other devices you want me to compare it to and how. Don't forget to support my channel, a like is always nice to see, subscribing is for free and guarantees a lot more cool tech inspections. Also make sure to share this video with friends and family so that they get to know about this cool piece of tech. My name is Michael, it's been a pleasure to host this episode for you, thank you for being my guest today and I look forward to seeing you in the next video, bye!